Okay, welcome to the Illuminate sign-in page. First, you're going to type in your username, which is your first initial and last name, and then your password. If you haven't signed in and gotten a password yet of your own choosing, then type in welcome with a capital W. and then click on next. Okay, you have your dashboard in front of you and we're gonna focus on an assessment. So you're going to click on assessment and you're going to bring up a answer sheet and we're gonna use a blank one today. And you're going to put in your questions of 35. And if you would like more than one version, so that students will have different versions um, as they take the test and won't be able to copy um, from one another. You may do that, but today we're just going to have one version. And I'm going to download it in a PDF. And then I'm going to bring up the PDF and look at the copy of the answer key it has 35 questions and you notice that there are six boxes for the student ID number. Now some of my students only have five um, digits uh, for their student ID. So um, the student or you uh, can bubble in a zero for the first digit and then the other five digits of the student ID. Okay, so our answer key looks good. And now we're going to go to the assessment and create a new assessment. And I'm going through the manual setup today. So you click on manual setup and you go to OK. And you have 35 questions. And then you're going to title. And my title is Tuck everlasting and the script description is a final test and you have the calendar date there and I am going to change my calendar date to October 22nd and then the subject area will be English language arts and I'm choosing a scope it's teacher created and it's grade level six for my students. Um, doesn't show in the parent portal because our Illuminate software does not um, connect with our PowerSchool grade program right now. I'm going to save it. And now I'm looking at standards. So the subject um, that I'm looking for is actually California Common Core Content Standards under English Language Arts and Literacy. And I'm going to click on Grade 6 English Language Arts and click on Search. And I'm going to have one standard for all of my questions today. Um, if you do want to have um, several standards linking with your questions on your quiz or test, um, for example, in science, um, you probably have several uh, throughout um, a science test, and you can link those as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and link these, and I have 35 questions here, and I want to link all of them and align them, and all I do is click, and they are all aligned and I save that information. And now my next are the questions. And all I have to do is take my answer key that I've made out and scan the answer key. Okay, and you can see that was pretty quick and fast. And now I'm going to go down to 
bottom and save my answers. Okay. And now I'm going to look at sharing them. And if you are making a test uh, with your teammates and you want to share with um, several people, this is your opportunity to do so. I am just going to share with myself right now. So I'm typing in my name and clicking on that. And I'm also going to be able to administer the test and I can add, edit it as well. And now I'm clicking on share. And then the last thing that you need to do is scan your student's answer sheet. And you're going to click on the scan part and you show your student's answer sheet. And it usually scans pretty quickly. And then <laughs> you're going to look at save and view the results. And you can also go over to overview and look at the overall performance. And when you have all of your students' um, answer sheets there, it goes by really quickly. If you have any questions, please let me know, and that's our tip for the day.